Good morning. <clears throat> Happy Sunday. So I had a question um, yesterday. So um, I watched your uh, eating out video, which I did yesterday, which will be on the podcast, or you can just scroll down on this page and you'll, you should be able to find it, which I found really helpful about eating out, tips on eating out. Um, I'm eating out tonight. So does that mean that I should um, eat less tomorrow as in if you're eating, if you ate out last night, Saturday night, should you eat less on the Sunday? Now, that's because I talked about credits and debits, so compensating over the week. Like you might eat less Monday to Friday a little bit to, to allow for that the weekend. And you've got to judge whether that's worth it or not, and whether that's something that you're willing to do or choose to do for the result that you want to get that balance between social life and eating out. Because something's got to give to an extent. But like I said, we don't we want this to be sustainable. So why would you cut something completely out? And then like all of a sudden you're like, well, I want this to be part of my life and now I'm not doing it. So um, you know, the fine dining experience can definitely be a part of it. It's what you do on average that counts. So in short, should you eat less today? Well, if that's your strategy to compensate, that's fine. Um, you can eat a little bit less today. You might compensate. Um, you might actually be full up when you wake up today and you might delay the breakfast a little bit. Morning, Mary. So if you eat out, could you eat less today? Yeah, sure. That will compensate. Um, that's one way to compensate and lower the calories. Another option, though, because some people will say, yeah, but I'm, oh, I'm starving today. So if you're hungry, I would just eat normally. So just go by a bit how you feel. Like Just go back to normal eating today. Because what I'm concerned with here, and this is a very individual thing, is that some people will wake up and be like, I've got to compensate today. No, I'm starving. I want everything and everything and anywhere and everything. So then it's like, well, just go back to eating what you normally would today. Because remember, it's what you do on average that counts. Because what we don't want to do is go into that binge restrict cycle, right? Because that can easily lead to that. And then all of a sudden, we're going for a meal out, which we enjoyed, but we overate a little bit, fine. The next day, we try and restrict, restrict, restrict. Then we're starving. Then we overeat, we binge, comfort eat a little bit. Then we've overeaten again, then we're beating ourselves up, then we then we go again, I'll compensate again tomorrow, and it's and it's on that that just goes and goes and goes, and that one day has now become a week. So sometimes you need to take an honest look at ourselves, like what's our relationship with food like, and do we just need to go back to normal eating today to get that blood sugar level under control, to feel full, feel satisfied, not over full, having enough. Difference between being full and having enough making sure we're hitting our protein, our fiber again, getting lots of micronutrients in that we might have missed from the fine dining experience where you get one tender stem broccoli. Anyway, um, I used to hate that. Now, I actually quite enjoy the, um, the, the, the weirdly small servings that they give on, at certain restaurants. Or, like I said yesterday, um, when we ate out the other week, the mains, you had to order the sides completely separately. Like, if you ordered... What did I get now? I think I changed my order because I wanted a bit of salad with it. But if you ordered like steak, you literally just got steak on your plate. That was it. And you had to get the side separately. And I was thinking, although that's annoying, like I'm now got, I've now got to choose to get the chunky chips or the fries rather than them being on the plate. And yeah, it was quite interesting. I was like, oh, so I can just choose what I want. I'll get some seasonal veg, I'll get some... And it was quite nice, actually, albeit quite a small portion. But weirdly, as I always say, I look at it and go, that's a small portion. But then when I finish, and by the time you've had some water, by the time they've cleared the plates, I'm like, you know what? That was actually enough. Anyone else think that? Like, I'm like, that was actually enough. Like, I'd, if you'd have served me that at home, I'd have definitely been up trying to get some more, thinking that's not enough. Need more veg, need more this, need more that. But actually, it was enough. Anyway. I digress. Um, so I hope that one helps today. I'm actually putting together a uh, eating out guide as we speak to help with cravings, hunger um, at the moment. So I will be releasing this soon. We are in here. We've got a few things in there, beaten cravings, etc. So this will be um, out soon, which is which is putting all of this into one place for you in terms of cravings, in terms of eating out certain strategies, tips that we can do um, in on there as well. So I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know and I will see you soon. Take care.